Bueno, buena onda. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, teacher. How are you? Hello, welcome. How are you? How are you? I'm fine. Fine, thank you. Excellent. Very fine. Who's buena onda? Me. Okay. Buena onda, me. ¿Cómo es? Who's buena onda? Who's buena onda? Ah, okay. Okay. ¿Quién es buena onda? Escuché, escuché buena onda. Ah, que quién es buena onda, la Karen. Oh. Que la Karen dice que vayamos a Santa Ana, que nos va a invitar a los. No, porque el día le invité a que fuéramos a comer torta, no pues. Ah. Es que, ¿Por qué una torta, pues? ¿Por qué torta? No, dígale, yo soy de la Pampa Argentina, dígale. Oh my God. Oh. No, Sí, pero okay. torta quiere, va a creer. Del búfalo muy barato. Parque. Ok, teacher. Sorry, teacher. Let's okay. continue. Too much info, yeah. <laughs> All right. No, no, no se llama la onda. Let's, let's get started, guys. Thank you so much. You know, I, I really liked, uh, you know, that you joined right in the session early and that you have the opportunity to exchange information. Eso es bueno, que hacemos intercambiando ideas o caso de información. Excelente, no que me esperan, pero thank you for your time. Ok, eh, let's get started and I'm going to pass the tenas, my first. Alba. Present teacher. Thank you, Alali. I hear teacher. Thank you, Ana Dinora. Ana Stephanie. Present. If Brian. Cesar. Present teacher. If Elvis. Present. Emerson. Present teacher. If Gabriela. Present teacher. Harrison. Not here. Uh, Glenda. Glenda. Jocelyn, Jose. Present teacher. Thank you, Linda. Jose. Present. Josué. Karen. Present. Kenya. I am here, teacher. Is it bad? Present. Para, pues, un punto sobre los Present. Thank you. Eh, Nancy. Present, teacher. Oscar. Present. Ovidio. Teacher. Present, teacher. Sandra. Present, teacher. Sonia. Present, teacher. Wilson. 79 ya los minutos. Jenny. Jenny. Present, present teacher. Thank you, Jenny. Okay, guys. I'm going to start with the class. Ready, ready, ready for today. Let's go. Okay, eh, I want to start with this. Vamos a iniciar acá. Eh, hacer, nuevamente, ahorita, énfasis en eso. La plataforma, ¿verdad? Es, eh, es nuestra herramienta. Así es que, pedirles de favor que podamos completar. Espero que hayan avanzado ayer o ahora. Eh, no olvidemos que debe de estar completo esta es la sección 3, sección 1, 2 y 3, que es mi turn. Revisemos y les voy a pedir por que regresemos a la sección 1 y revisemos cada uno de esos, esas sus secciones, digamos así, sus, sus secciones o partes para que el, la sección tiene. Para verificar para que está, cada ejercicio sea completado, etc. Y sigamos avanzando. Y ese día, ¿verdad? Tenemos exactamente a la medianoche para completar hacia la sección 3 y el mismo. 
ya lo podemos hacer. Si ya lo hicimos excelente, si ya completamos perfecto, les agradezco y felicidades, ¿verdad? Por su desempeño, por su desempeño. José, perdón, teacher. José yeah. acaba de mandar un mensaje diciendo ahí que no tiene Inter. Se le acabó la cora. <risa> oh, ok. Oh, I'm sorry. Espero que se pueda conectar. Sí, ¿qué más? ¿Qué más? ¿Qué más sonido por acá ahorita? Nadie, ¿verdad? Somos los mismos. Ok. Estoy al tanto. Y de verdad les agradezco bastante y lo menciono nuevamente. Creo que lo mencioné con ustedes también. No sé si fue un grupo de la tarde. Pero igual lo menciono. Les agradezco, ¿verdad? Por, por comentarme, por tomarse tiempo para mencionarme el, el por qué posiblemente no se van a unir, ¿verdad? Eh, de verdad lo agradezco mucho. Y quiero mencionar lo siguiente, ¿verdad? Recuerden que hay que cuidar nuestra asistencia. Nuestra asistencia de notas. Eh, si posiblemente hemos estado docentes por, para diversas circunstancias, eventos, para el trabajo, eh, probablemente nos toca trabajar de tarde, entonces nos toca trabajar de tarde, a la ordenancia, a la noche, eh, algo, otro evento, ¿verdad? No sé, familiar, etcétera, o alguna emergencia, espero que no, ¿verdad? O sea, caso, pero si ha sido, pues, para que todo se ve primeramente. Y lo otro, ¿verdad? Lo mismo, agradeciendo, ¿verdad? Su, su, por comentarme, ¿verdad? Tomar su tiempo comentarme. Y lo otro, ¿verdad? lo que decía, de cuidar la asistencia. ¿Por qué? Eh, en ese caso, ¿verdad? algunos me, me, me escriben y me dicen, ¿verdad? no voy a poder unirme por cierto motivo. ¿verdad? Entonces, eh, solo mencionarle, ¿verdad? De que de mi parte, ¿verdad? Soy enterado. Pero, como ustedes saben, como se les comentó, eh, por medio de la seguridad, ¿verdad? De, de este operativo, se les mencionó que, eh, ¿verdad? No... En ese caso, pues yo, eso no, no corre por mis manos. ¿verdad? Es decir, eh, eh, yo, por ejemplo, tomarlo acá, ¿verdad? Como un permiso, porque ya eso es control, ¿verdad? De, de autoridades. Entonces, para que, ¿verdad? El día de mañana no digan, eh, yo le pedí permiso a teacher. Sí, yo sé. Se me, me comentó y le agradezco bastante. Por mí sería, ¿verdad? No hay ningún problema, pero este, recuerden que tenemos requisitos, hay que cumplirlos. Y por lo menos, para tener arriba del 60%. Como les decía en las clases anteriores, ustedes, ¿verdad? No les estoy pidiendo que sea así, ¿verdad? Que falta. Sino que por lo menos tienen dos o tres clases, si no me equivoco, para ser ausentes. Pero no es el caso. No, no quiero que falten. Estar constantemente. Y comentar eso, ¿verdad? Que no usar en mis manos ya los, los permisos. Eh, solamente les comunico acá, ¿verdad? Y, y hago mi trabajo para hacer el con tus contenidos, que ya no saben en mis manos para lo, el, el, la cuestión de los permisos. Así que ahí sí me, me disculpan y lo comento acá. ¿verdad? Después no hay malos entendidos y, y digan, yo le comenté el teacher, no sé qué pasa. Eh, saben que los contactan, ¿verdad? Por parte de es cooperativo, eh, de forma individual o en grupo, me tengan todos. Y en cuanto a la asistencia, así como el mensaje de ahora, ¿verdad? Que recibieron. Y, ¿verdad? Nuevamente comentar que son mensajes genéricos. Simplemente se les envió de forma individual. No lo tomen, ¿verdad? O si no es el caso, ¿verdad? Omítalo. Omítalo. ¿Ok? Es que son posibles situaciones, ¿verdad? Les menciono para que no hayan de formar los sentidos. Simplemente, ¿verdad? Nos, nos genere incomodidad, ¿verdad? Pero, ¿verdad? Si no es el caso, hemos estado presentes 100%. Hemos cortado la plataforma. Omitamos. No sé si hay preguntas, dudas, comentarios. Teacher, eh, teacher en mi caso, ayer no pude asistir a la clase y sí me llamaron ahora. Excelente. Sí, el, el, me el llamaron para, eh, para consultar porque era que no había asistido y de verdad que no pude avisar. Sí, o sea, fue una emergencia no grave, pero sí no pude asistir a la clase porque vine llegando como a las diez y media a la casa, ya, ya era yeah. tarde. Yeah, I feel you, no worries. Entiendo, entiendo. Gracias, gracias por... Yeah. Eh, good afternoon, Harrison. Welcome.
Okay. Buenas teacher. Hello. Good afternoon. How are you? Are you okay? Hello. No le no le no le logré escuchar muy bien. Se 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 corta la. How are you, Harrison? How are you? I'm fine, thanks. And you? Yeah, I'm okay, thank you. Bueno, eh, no sé si hay dudas, comentarios, preguntas. No, todo bien. Por mi parte, todo bien. Excelente. Yes, teacher, todo bien. Okay, excelente. Bueno, entonces. It's okay. Okay, yeah. Okay. All right. Eh, ¿Vamos a comentar algo? Ah, okay. Eh, ese día, ¿verdad? Finalizamos la semana 2. Semana 2. Por el mañana es día libre para ustedes. Y eh, avancemos. Viernes, fin de semana. Y el lunes iniciaremos la semana Cuatro, perdón, a las tres, sección cuatro. Vamos a la mitad. Eh, bueno, solamente eso. No olviden completar la plataforma, please. La sección tres y el meter. Let's continue. Let's go with eh, the topic, right? The topic for today is placement of adjectives. This is our class number eight. Today is Thursday, 20, March 24th. Okay. Let's begin with the adjectives. Placement of adjectives. Let's go. Let's start by defining what is an adjective. What is an adjective? An adjective is, you know, those are words. Adjectives are words that describe nouns, right? Describe nouns, right? So, we need to distinguish, right, the way we use the adjectives in English and the way we use it in Spanish, right? They are totally different. Talking about the structure, right? Structure. Hay que distinguir, ¿verdad? Los adjetivos en caso los ambos idiomas, ¿verdad? Inglés y español. Se utilizan diferente en cuanto a su estructura. Okay? So, for example, you say, right? A ah, beautiful flower. Okay, so this is in English. In English, we follow adjective plus noun. So the adjective goes before noun, right? In Spanish, we use noun plus adjective. Adjective, pardon, associativo, adjetivo. Sustantivo o adjetivo, right? And you say, right? Eh, for example, I can say, una rosa hermosa. Like a poem. So, it's different, right? A beautiful flower. Una rosa hermosa. This is the way in Spanish. Entonces, teacher, las palabras sufren un cambio para poderlas entender. ¿Y eso es solo para escritura o, o también aplica para cuando vamos a hablar? Eh, for both. For both. Speaking and, and writing. Aplica para ambos, para, para todo. Para speaking, writing, reading. Yes. Yes. Okay. And so in English, it is uh, one rose, one beautiful rose. Uh, yes, my friend. You can say like that. You can say like that, or you can say, you know, it depends. You have plural, right? Puede ser así si es singular, o lo puede decir de diferente forma si sería plural. Okay. Okay. For example, let me give an example. Lo de menos segundito. Sorry. Una situación ahorita. Ok. 
Okay. Yeah, if it is singular, you can say it that way, right? A beautiful flower, one flower. But if you want to say plural, my friend, you can say beautiful flowers. And this is plural, right? Plural. In, in Spanish, right, we say rosas hermosas. So. Okay. Teacher, no sería flores, flores hermosas, porque si estamos hablando de rosas, sería beautiful house. Yeah, sorry, I'm, my bad. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, flores, flores. Thank you, Risa, my friend. <laughs> flores, flores hermosas. <laughs> <laughs> sí, una flor hermosa la cuarta, ¿no? una flor hermosa ok it's ok you know, I like it, I like it because you can see the errors right? me encanta porque pueden ver los errores yo lo hice a propósito <laughs> sí, como no <laughs> me, encanta, me, gusta, me gusta que sean verdad atentos si es la cosa <laughs> Okay, beautiful flowers or a beautiful flower, right? Singular, plural, right? Very good. In, well, let's get over here. In English, the adjectives come before nouns, right? Before nouns. And we say that the red car, the red car. We cannot say the, the, the carrette, no, that is impossible. The correct. This is incorrect. You said the red car. In English. In English. In Spanish, you can say, right? El, uh, el, el auto rojo. El auto rojo. Or el vehículo rojo. Or you cannot say, in English, you, can, you cannot say the correct. No. It is different if you say the car is ready, it's different. The car is ready. In this case is possible. This is correct. Because you're describing, right? You're describing. And you're using subject, verb, and complement or adjective in this case. Ahí sí es posible porque estamos, tenemos una oración. Subject, verb, and adjective. In this case, no. Okay. In is different in Spanish, right? In Spanish, the adjectives come after nouns. Después. And we say el coche rojo. Coche rojo. So adjectives have to match in gender and number. In this case, right? So I must say in Espanol, verdad, esa es como la diferencia con inglés. En español tendemos a, a hacer ese juego, el adjetivo y el sustantivo, por ejemplo. Y si tenemos un determinante, de hacer ese juego con género y, y, y número. En in, in Spanish, or in English, it's different. So you use the same form. En ese caso, no hacemos como la excepción, por eso así, de, de género y, y número, etc. Cuando me refiero a género, ¿verdad? es que decimos ¿verdad? el coche rojo, no decimos la coche rojo. ¿verdad? A eso me refiero. In English, we don't say that, right? So you said the red car, just like that. So we don't, I mean, they, people don't complicate, right? And native speakers don't complicate. No tiene que ser tan complicado, ¿verdad? Ese aspecto el inglés. Él es una sola forma. So, teacher, entonces este tipo de, de, de gramática aplica para todo tipo de adjetivos. Calificativos, cuantitativos. Yes. Yeah, all of them. All of them. Okay. Okay. Um, continue. Let's go over here. Let's go with the placement of adjectives. Placement. Placement. Where do we positionate the adjectives? We use different positions. Okay. So we're going to focus on this one first. Let's focus on this one first. We have the verb be. What is the verb be? What is the verb? We have three forms. On, is the is the stressful sería B? No. The verb. Um or is. is. Um or is. That is the verb, right? Is. Exactly. 
Yes. The verb be plus the adjective, right? Right. That is the first form. So let's see the structure, right? This is a structure, a different structure. We have the article, A or N, and it's singular, right? It's a singular, A or N. We have a profession. Remember the, the jobs, right? Doctor, firefighter, police officer, lawyer, etc. We had the possessive with S, remember? That, that was in the first module. Recordemos los possessivos en el primer módulo. Possessive with S. We have the word job. The word job, la palabra job, en ese caso. All this is the subject. All this is the subject. Todo eso es el sujeto. So, you know, the most common structure for the adjectives is like this, right? Subject, at the verb be, in this case, and the adjective. This is the, the, the structure in general, in general, right? For this form. Say la estructura general, but it's a form of it. So I have the same article, but I have, you know, I, I have distributed the parts of the speech in a different way. Acá lo que he hecho que distribuido diferente, the article, A or N, profession, with S, and job. This is a sub. Then we have the verb, and at the end we have the adjective. So I can say, a doctor's job is a stressful. A doctor's job is a stressful. Okay, so this is the subject. We have the article, the profession, the possessive with S, and the job, the, the word job, sorry. So I'm describing the job, right? I'm describing the, the job. What is the job? Doctor. A doctor's job is stressful. Verb B, and the adjective is stressful. Okay, so this is the way you describe. Things right to describe nouns. For example, I can say a police officer's job is risky. Police officer job, a police officer's job is risky. The same thing. We have the article, which is A. The profession, police officer, the possessive is the word job. So this is a subject. The verb is, and the adjective which is risky. Okay, this is the first form. B plus an adjective. Okay, I can say a firefighter's job is dangerous. A firefighter's job is dangerous. I continue with the same structure, right? Article, profession, firefighter, possessive with S, right? And job, which is a word, right? So we're talking about, in this, in this case, I'm, I'm talking about the possessor. I, I have a possession, sorry. A firefighter's job is dangerous. For B, in the adjective, okay? I'll leave. Excuse me, teacher, who is risky? Risky, risky is similar to dangerous, dangerous. For example, when you take, uh, when you practice, I'll leave, when you practice, Extreme sports, for example, extreme sports. So you tend to be risky, right? Because you take a risk. You take a risk. Risky, a risk. Risk. I mean, this is this is the noun. This is in este caso es un sustantivo. Risky is the okay. adjective. Okay. So imagine that you practice a bungee jumping. Yeah. Bungee jumping, right? So if you practice this sport, it's because you're risky, right? You're risky. So you, you risk your life. Mm -hmm. right? If you practice bungee jumping, it's because you risk your life. So you're risky. So it's similar to dangerous. So a police officer's job is risky because they have to, you know, arrest, you know, gangsters. Uh, you know, they have they have to, I don't know, they have to deal right with criminals, et cetera. So they, they, that job is risky. That job is risky. Even, you know, soldiers, right? Soldiers, okay? That is risky. Does it make sense? Oh, okay, thank yeah? you. Yeah, is it good? 
sábado, no sé si Caro Suda. Yes. yes. Okay. Sería igual que decir a firefighters. Yao is risky. Exactly. exactly. Okay. Because they have the, the uh, uh, firefighters have to struggle with fires, right? With fires. Ellos tienen que lidiar con incendios. So okay. it's risky. Yeah. Risky. Yeah. Okay. This is clear. Thank yeah. you. You're welcome. So this is the first one, guys. The first structure. B plus additive. We have this example, right? Any questions? Preguntas acá? No question. No. Okay. It's okay. Okay, yeah. That is another way. That is another way to express the same. Which one? The second one, right? This one. Hay otra forma de estructurar las ideas, son objetivos y expresar lo mismo. Elvis. ¿Cuándo, ¿cuándo usar eh, el artículo A y cuándo AN? Mm, ok. Yeah. The articles A and N is because you have singular nouns. And the plural da, I'm sorry, the, the article da, sorry. This one is when you have singular or plural nouns, it depends. If for both. This one's for singular nouns, and this one is, it can be for plural or singular forms. Okay. Yeah. Tiene variable, pero. Ah, pero, pero, ¿cómo saber cuándo va A y cuándo va A N? Ah, okay. It depends on the on the nouns. If they have a, for example, we use a when we have and when the nouns, sorry, have consonant sounds, right? And and when they have vowel sounds, right? We don't focus on the beginning of the word, right? No. So, for example, you don't say. And let me see. I will say a book, right? Book. So book has a consonant sound. Yeah, it starts with a cons with a consonant, but we don't focus on that. In ese tipo de, de, de formas, no nos enfocamos en cómo dice la palabra. Nos enfocamos en los sonidos. No es así, okay? Say a book, right? Listen, we say a ah, university. University. University starts with vowel, right? In the Susantivo University, it is a vocal, But it doesn't matter because we focus on the sound. University. University. So the sound is like this, right? Yes. University. Here. University. Tenemos acá un sonido de, de consonante. Aunque la palabra o el sustantivo inicie con vocal, no importa. Tiene que ser el sonido. Eh, you say, right, an apple. An apple. An apple. Apple starts with a, with a vowel sound, sorry. Vowel sound. An apple. An apple. Listen. You say, an umbrella. An umbrella. Umbrella. So this one begins with a vowel sound. También esa palabra dice con sonido de vocal. Umbrella. Another example. We say an honor. An honor. Right? So honor it starts with a vowel sound. La palabra honor dice con un sonido de vocal. So in this case, the H is silent. Como le decimos en español, ¿verdad? La H muda. H is silent. An honor. It, you know, it doesn't matter that the, the word starts with a consonant, right? You focus on the sound. An honor. Esa es la clave. Los sonidos. No comunizan las palabras. Okay. Sí. 
to make sense? Questions? Estamos bien hasta ahí. Eso se aclara su duda. Hello. I'm okay. Let's go with the second form. We have the second form, this one. Okay, moving on. Now we have an adjective and a noun. Okay. So in other words, we have noun phrase, a noun phrase or noun phrases. What is a noun phrase? A noun phrase, in a noun phrase, we have this. We, we tend to have right air and plus additive plus noun. That is a noun phrase. Noun phrase. Okay. So the noun phrase has an article, the adjective, and the noun. For example, you can say, right, a nice car. You can say an interesting book. Okay. We have this article A, adjective, and the noun. And interesting and book. You can say a uh, stressful job. So now we have. The article A, the adjective, and we have the noun. Can you have pronouns? Yes, you can. You can have, for example, adjective and the noun, right? Now, let's say, now, it is. This is plural, right? Plural. You say, right? If, let me see, I'll say, Good cards. So, yeah. so we have the, the adjective and the, the noun. The noun is in plural now. Noun is in plural. So this is possible too. Acá con el, el sustantivo es en plural, ¿verdad? Good cards. So here is when the, the, the nouns are in singular, right? Car, book, job. Y acá es lo opuesto, cuando tenemos en singular los sustantivos. That is the way. And we have the structure. Again, we have an article, A or N. We have a profession. Now we use has. As in this case, right? We have A or N, the adjective, and the noun. All this is the noun. It's a subject, right? This is the subject. This is the verb. The verb. And this is the noun phrase. Okay, we can say a doctor has a stressful job. All right. So here we have, you know, this idea. I mean, this idea we have this, right? It's the same. A doctor's job is stressful. A doctor's job is stressful. Or a doctor has a stressful job. The same thing. Same thing. The difference is the structures. The difference is on the structures. Okay. Another example, a police officer has a risky job. Let's go back and we say a police officer's job is risky or a police officer has a risky job. The same thing. Another example, a firefighter as a dangerous job or higher fires job is dangerous the same the same okay so that is the way we place the adjectives in sentences in english of course in english okay questions
Elvis. Solamente para confirmar, cuando eh, va en, en plural la, eh, la expresión, no lleva entonces artículo, ¿verdad? Solamente no. el, 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 el noun y el adjective en plural. Yes, exactly. For example, you can say, right, a, a brother has, I would say my, my, my mother, my mother has beautiful eyes, beautiful eyes. Plural, this is plural. Exactly, we can use the article because it's plural. My mother has beautiful eyes. Adjective and now. Okay. Y si nos nice. referimos a su cabello, ah, okay. eso sería plural o singular? Singular. My mother. No, in this case, sorry, we don't use the article. We say my mother has brown hair because hair is uncountable. Uncountable. You, you cannot say a hair. No. Hair. You use in this way, my friend. In this case, it would be like because the substantive is incontable. It could be said in Okay. Yes. Somebody else? Oh, I want to, I want to hear something. Give me a second. Quería mostrar algo. Se me escapó de agregarlo en la presentación. Se lo pueden compartir también. Y... When you have adjectives, you tend to use, you can use more than two adjectives in an idea, right? Or in a noun phrase, let's say, right? So you can use two adjectives. You can use three adjectives. You can use four adjectives. For example, when you say, right, a big blue house, this is possible. So I have big and I have blue. These are two adjectives. Acá tenemos dos adjetivos que pueden usar. Or I can say, <clears throat> sorry, a big new blue house. So now I have three adjectives, right? Big, new, and blue. That is possible. You can do it. How? You have to respect this. This is the order for adjectives. If you want to include more than one, right? More than two, etc. So first we have the determinant, right? Primero tenemos un determinante. Un denominante. A, da, an, etc. E, the first order, the first, let's say, place for the adjective is opinion, right? When you give opinion, right? I mean, we use adjectives that express opinion, okay? Size. Size, big, small, shape, round, circle, etc. The age, new, old, color, red, blue, green, black, origin, German, Salvadorian, etc. Material, silk, wooden, purpose, kitchen, sports, and the noun. Okay. So this is the order that you have to respect. For example, I said, right, a big blue house. A big blue house. Okay, so I'm using the determiner, A. Big is an adjective that expresses the size, right? The size. And then I have the color, blue. So I have this order, right, color. So that can be possible. But you have to respect the order. Is it possible? Well, I can say it as a order. Podría ser que yo utilice un, un, un adjetivo de opinión y uno, un adjetivo de, de origen, pues, origen. 
y después seguir del, del sustantivo, ¿verdad? Claro. And, you know, you, you can have different combinations. Pueden tener diferentes combinaciones. Okay, this is possible. With the next example, a big new house, a big new blue house, sorry. We have big, which is a, an adjective that expresses size, again. New, it's an adjective that expresses age. And blue, it's an adjective that expresses color, right? And then the noun. Okay. Arely. Yes, teacher. Siempre tiene que haber ese orden de los de lo que está usted hablando, ¿verdad? Yes, we always we always need to respect the order. Este cuadro lo va a enviar usted a WhatsApp. Yeah, right now. Okay, gracias. Gracias. No Let's continue. So, oh, any questions over here? Is everything okay? Everything clear? All bien? Claro? Yep. Yes, teacher. Okay. Let's go with some examples. Let's look at the example. First, let's identify some job adjectives. We have some job adjectives. Which ones? Listen, listen first, listen first. Listen, don't remember. Orange, 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 easy, easy, dangerous, easy. dangerous, dangerous, exciting, dangerous. exciting, exciting, difficult. Difficult, stressful, stressful, risky, risky, sociable, sociable, repetitive, repetitive, creative, 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 tiring, tiring. Those are your adjectives. Questions? Teacher, estos job adjectives uh, van relacionados con las profesiones, ¿verdad? Yeah. Okay. For example, if I say, right, a chaps, chaps, job is tiring, tiring. Tiring, right? They have to move, they have to do different things, right? That is tiring, right? Tiring. A chef's job is tiring. You know, they, they are, you know, they stand all day, right? Chef, a chef stands all day. So it's tiring. A chef's job is tiring. Or I can say a chef has a tiring job. The same, the same. Chef's job is tiring. Or a chef as a tiring job. We are, we are expressing the same, right? We're expressing the same. Difference again, are the structure. And this is, we're using different structures. Okay? A, listen and repeat. The job identity, please. Boring. 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 Easy. 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 Dangerous. 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 Exciting. 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 Difficult. 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 Stressful. 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 Risky. 
Fresh cake. Fresh cake. Fresh cake. No whiskey. No whiskey. Fresh cake. Fresh cake. No es rasky tampoco. Es rasky. Fresh cake. Sociable. Creative. 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 Yeah. Creative. 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 Uh, may, I don't know, they have to keep in touch, right? Etc. Fly attendance job is exciting, or I can say a fly attendant has an exciting job. Okay. Another example, I can say a security a security guard, sorry, a security guard's job is difficult. A security guard's job is difficult. Or I can say a security guard has a difficult job. Same thing. Okay. This is the way we place the adjectives. Remember that is a topic, placement of adjectives. And we describe, right? We, we use adjectives to describe nouns, people, animals, places, etc. Okay. Well, questions over here? This is basically the way we place the adjectives in sentences. Sería la forma como ubicamos los adjetivos en English. ¿Es everything okay? Claro. Preguntas. Yeah, okay, let's practice. I guess everything is clear. I'm going to practice what I want to do, guys. In your notebooks, in your notebooks, I need you to write, listen, at least six sentences describing jobs. Okay. Six, using these two forms, right? Using these two forms, this ones, okay? This one and this one, okay? You have to use the two forms, okay? For example, let me give you some examples. I need you to, you know, use the two structures, right? Let me give you more examples. Okay, I will say our cells, Salesperson's job is sociable, right? Sociable. For example, I can say, say a chef has a creative job. Okay. So I need you to write in your notebooks six. Six sentences, similar sentences, right? Describing jobs. If you want to use different jobs, it's okay. A sheer doctor, a nurse, lawyer, judge, etc. If you want to use different ideas, you can do it. Okay, so this activity you have to do it right now in your notebooks. Vamos a iniciar con esta actividad en nuestros cuadernos, please. Vamos a This ones or this ones. Okay. Any questions? No.
Is Sativity clear? Yes. Estamos claro con la actividad? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Go ahead, please. Let's start, and if you're ready, you know, we're going to listen to you with the sentences, right? As soon as you finish, let us know. Cuando terminen, ¿verdad? Que finalicen, me avisa. Vamos a escuchar sus ideas. Is for now? Yeah, right now. Right now. Okay. Yes. If you have some questions, let me know, please. Let me know. Okay, teacher. Finish. Okay. okay. Go ahead. We'll listen to you, please. Um, a singer has a boating yaw. A police officer has a dangerous yaw. A security guard's yaw is stressful. An athlete, athlete's yaw is exciting. Okay. for me, Emily. What? Better me, an athletist. Athletist? Athletist. Job is. Job is exciting. Exciting. Yeah. Pretty good. Thank you. Thank you. Athletic. Athletics. Sorry. Is Correction. Is that Correction. Okay. An athlete. An athlete. An athlete. An athlete. An athlete. Ok, yeah. ahí se, ahí se eh, es, es por eso que puse la am, porque la pronunciación, ¿no? Yeah, exactly. An athlete, an athlete, sorry. An athlete. An athlete. An athlete. An athlete. Okay. An athlete. I said before athletic, I don't know why, but this is a, the adjective, right? That's an adjective. Athletic is for generals? No, this is an adjective. Athletic. Ok, ok. For example, you can say, right, an athletic person. Athlete. It's different. An athlete okay. is the job, the, the, the person, right? The person. Okay, okay. Yeah. But the pronunciation for this one, at least, athletes. Athlete. 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 Okay. Athlete. Athlete. Esa es la corrección. Yo is exciting. Exactly. Esa es la corrección porque yo dije athletic. 
hace un momento. Atlat. Okay. Okay. Yeah. okay, no, hay que buscar yeah. los dos. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, too. Ready, teacher. Ready? Okay, Elvis, let's go. A driver's job is easy. A teacher has an interesting job. A barber job is tiring. A chef has a creative, creative job. No sé si lo pronuncio bien. A okay, and I'm going to I'm going to correct you. Continue, a, secretary, a secretary job is repetitive. An engineer has a risky job. Yeah, definitely. Better for me, Elvis. Creative. 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 Yeah. Creative. Yeah. You? That was good, Elvis. Let's go with Emerson. Yes, teacher. Uh, admin has a stressful job. A nurse's job is difficult. A liar has a risky job. A teacher's job is difficult. An astronaut of exciting. A chef's job is creating. Creating. Okay. You repeat the one that you said with the astronaut? Yeah. Astronaut, sorry. But if it didn't uh, it. Yeah. Uh, astronaut has an exciting job. An exciting job. Exciting job. Mm, so, yeah. No se le pide completar. An exciting job. Si utiliza esta forma, porque debe de ir un adjetivo y un sustantivo. Yes, thank you, teacher. Okay. Okay, Marco, let's go with you. Okay. Uh, a chef has a stressful job. A security ward ha a security ward job is a dangerous job. A police officer has a risky job. A waitress job is a tiring job. A receptionist has a sociable job. A musician's job is a creative job. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah just one observation, better for me, Emerson. A security guard has a difficult job. A security guard has a difficult job. Has a difficult job. Yeah. Good. Yeah. I'm going to read the, uh, well, I think Stephanie can use the microphone, right? Stephanie, help us with your example, please. Hmm. Okay. A César no lo deja participar. Why? Why? Esteban, can you listen to me? Teacher, um, me. Es que. Sí, dice oh. Stephanie, pero lo dice muy rápido, entonces no sé si <laughs> le está diciendo mi nombre. Sorry, sorry. And Stephanie. Yeah, you. Uh, okay. Um, a teacher's job is credit report. A teacher has a creative job. A police job is dangerous. A police has a dangerous job. A pilot's job is sociable. A pilot has a sociable job. Yeah. Better for me, and it's funny, a pilot. A pilot. A pilot. Another word? A pilot. Yes. Another one? Creative. 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 Creative, Creative. 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 yeah. Okay. Thank you, Stephanie. All right. Uh, a policeman job is dangerous. A secretary has a sociable. A, a sociable job. job. Sorry. A what? secretary. You say a a a. Has a sociable. Do you say sorry? Do you say a, a secretary or a receptionist? Sorry. Secretary. Oh, okay. A secretary 
Secretary has a sociable job. Sociable, sociable job. job. Yeah. All right, all right. A pilot's job is exiting. Mm. Uh, what? Yeah, continue, continue. A mechanic uh, has a risky, risky job ever, right? Risky job, yeah. A teacher job is creative. A engineer's job is straightforward. A straightforward. Yeah. Straightforward. Right. Okay. Better me, sector creative. Creative. What? Creative. 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 Yes. Creative. Yes. Creative. 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 Creator. Okay. ¿Cuál fue el ejemplo que dijo exigente? The pilot. A pilot job is exiting. Ah, okay. Exciting. Exciting. Oh, exciting. Okay. Exciting. Yeah. Exciting. 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 Yes. Excuse me. Excuse me. Very good. Thank you, Emerson. And thank you, Cesar. Um, Karen, let's go with you. Okay. A musician job is funny. A, yeah. cashier, a cashier job is difficult. A secretary's job is stressful. A police officer has a rescue job. A doctor has a tiring job. A teacher has a sociable, sociable job. Thank you, Karen, for the example. Excellent. Hey, I think I saw somebody else. Let's go with the last participant because of the time. Me parece haber visto alguien más. Por el tiempo, vamos a estar solo con ella o con él. Me parece haber visto alguien más. Vi que alguien le mató la mano, no sé quién fue. Oh, I guess we're good, right? <laughs> Okay, listen, because of the time, we're going to start right here, right? But I will invite you to send your exercise samples through a time, please. Por el tiempo, vamos a quedar hasta acá. Pero quiero darles a uno de ustedes a que puedan ver sus ejemplos, ¿verdad? Por WhatsApp. Para verificarlos. Claro, o sea, dándoles feedback, ¿verdad? ¿Qué hacer? Si les colecciona, se van a hacer, ¿ok? Eh, eso sería básicamente la, la última parte. Pues hacer o sea, preguntas, dudas, comentarios. ¿Estamos bien? It's ok, teacher. Bien. Todo bien, teacher. Excelente. Okay. Thank you. La invitación es la siguiente. Eh, por favor, completar la plataforma. So, lo primero, el midterm. Y no olviden también, ¿verdad? De seguir practicando. ¿eh? No solamente nos quedamos con lo de acá. Hay que seguir. La práctica, ¿verdad? También queda en sus manos. Cada quien ¿verdad? va a hacer su propio, propia autoevaluación. Que okay. sigamos. Más práctica, porque cositas estamos allá a la orden. Cita, y con gusto. ¿Qué más se iba a decir? Eso todo, eso será todo. Jenny, tomorrow we don't have classes, right? We don't have classes. Tres al próximo lunes. ¿Ok? Se nos olvide, mañana es libre. O sea, es que. Dame un tema de azar, please. Ale, ¿quiere decir algo, Tich? No, no, no. Feliz fin de semana para todos. Ah, okay. Thank you. Well, guys, thank you. Bye, guys. Good thank night. you. Good night. Bye. Thank you. Good night. Good night. Same to you guys. Thank you. Good night. Thanks. Happy Same to you. Bye. Bye. I'll see you on Monday. Thank you. Have a happy weekend. Bye bye. Happy weekend.